Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymon with T and today I have a tutorial showing you how to make this Jimbasan magnetic board and magnets and this is Sandax's whale shark character. So I have a magnetic whiteboard and I'm kind of tearing it apart and just taking out just the magnetic whiteboard part of the board. So the whiteboard will be the whale shark's belly so I'm tracing out the shape of it on the back with a sharpie. And I'm carefully cutting it out with scissors and make sure you're super careful because this is metal and it's very painful if you get scratched. And it should look something like this. Then you want to take some scrap clay and you want to roll it flat and place your belly on top of it. And then you want to cut out the rest of the whale shape. Then I'm rubbing on TLS all over the middle part of the belly and I'm using that as the glue to stick the whiteboard onto the piece of clay. So you want to make two fins out of clay and then you want to place that in the middle of the board and the clay. Then you want to bake according to instructions and then you want to start giving it a nice layer of light blue paint. Then you want to give it lighter blue spots. And then you want to paint on sleeping eyes. And then a mouth. And then you want to give it a layer of glades and here I'm using two part resin. And it should look like this. So next we're going to make the magnets, so this is the manta ray, so we want to take some pink clay and roll it flat into an oval shape, and then we want to add a magnet to the back, and then cover it with a thin piece of clay. Then you want to cut two triangle ears, and blend that onto the body, and then for the tail you just want to add a snake of clay, and then you want to give it two sleeping eyes. And once banked, all you have to do is give it white polka dots with paint and a dotting tool. Then to make the jellyfish, you want to take some light yellow clay and make an oval shape. And then you want to add the magnet in the back. Then you want to blend on three snakes onto the bottom. And give it sleeping eyes and a smile. To make the squid, you want to take some white clay and then you want to cut out a squid shape, which should be an arrow sign. And then you want to just kind of smooth out the edges with your fingers. And then you want to add a magnet in the back. Then you want to attach three black snakes to the bottom and you want to give it sleeping eyes and a smile. So for the seaweed cat you want to take some black clay and roll it into a raindrop shape and then for the ears you want to add two fat cylinders and then you want to add a magnet in the back. Then using white clay you want to give it sleeping eyes and the W mouth. And then using the white snakes of clay, you want to make two arms by making them into U-shapes. Finally, for the octopus, you want to take some light blue clay and flatten it into a dome shape. And then you want to add the magnet to the back. Then you want to blend on four snakes to the bottom of the dome. Then with a white strip of clay, you want to make an oval shape for the mouth. Then you want to give it sleeping eyes and you're ready to bake your magnets. So your magnet should look like this once baked and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and because we are using part of a whiteboard we can write on the board itself with some dry erase markers so I hope you guys enjoy.